Hello, this video will uh, look at uh, one direct example of beam deflection. The last couple of videos will introduce how beam deflection, uh, the starting from beginning the governing equation to come up with a function for deflection for every single, uh, for every possible uh, ex external loading. And we introduce the table to get those information. So now we're actually going to have a, a direct application of it. So that's the purpose of today's. And so this is our example. We have a simply supported beam and A and B is a pin support. So we have A and B. Then there's a concentrated load right in the middle, P. And this concentrated load is 200 Newton, uh, 200 pounds, let's make a US system. And uh, uh, this is 12 inch, and this is 12 inch. And we want to know uh, what will be the maximum deflection, okay? And uh, also, if we want to know what will be the maximum the slope, so theta max, so maximum deflection, and also maximum slope. Um, well, so how do we solve this type of problem? You already know we're going to go look at the table, right? So this is a simply supported beam. If I have this table right here, so it will be this particular one, <clears throat> and the deflection is going to be PL cubed over 48 EI, that's a maximum deflection, and the maximum slope is going to be uh, PL squared over 16 EI. So we're going to um, copy those two formulas right there and to solve our problem. So go back to this one. Our maximum deflection, it is going to be PL cube 48 EI. Okay, so will be that point. Now let's go ahead and solve that. Our P is 200 pound and our L is going to be this uh, entire entireness um, of this beam so that will be 24 inch right so that'd be 24 uh, inch and a cube and we have 48 and imagine if this is a 36 steel and uh, we will know our E uh, why don't we don't, don't make an a 36 steel let's just give this um, our E to be, let's see, 30 mega pound um, thirty times ten to power of six psi. Let's make that. Then in that situation, we're going to write down uh, our i also. If this i, we don't need to solve it, it's already given to us if it's 0 0.05, for example, inch to power fourth. Now how do we solve this? We're gonna put our e here, that's 30 times 10 to the power of six psi, and our i is 0 0.05 inch to the fourth, okay? So knowing of that, we're going to figure out what will be the maximum deflection. Uh, let's look at the unit. You have PSI and inch fourth. That will give us pound inch square, right? Because inch square cancel out. And then the numerator will be pound inch cube. Then we will get unit of inch. That's good. That's deflection. That's how much um, that deflection occurs. Okay, so then we get maximum deflection. Here, I will not go ahead and put into calculator. Just go through the steps. Then you want to figure out what would be the maximum slope. 
So if this is deflected, it's going to be look like this. This is a profile, and here is a maximum deflection. But where have where does the maximum slope occur? Maximum slope occur at this left and the right end. So in order to find the theta max, we're going to go back to that table. Uh, I'm going to show you one more time. Uh, it's in your book. And uh, it's going to be this value, PL squared over 16EI. So going over there. That's going to be our slope. So put it in our concentrated load is 200 pounds. And our L, this again is 24 inch long. And 16, our E is 30 mega PSI. And our I is 0 0.05 inch to the fourth. So think about the unit. Um, the top one will give us a unit of pound inch square and the bottom one will give us pound inch square so they cancel out there will be no unit that's what we expected because it's a slope right uh, that will um will have about something like that and uh, if i do a quick calculation your answer might be i cannot guarantee <laughs> It's about 4.9, let's see, about 4.9 and uh, 10 to negative 3. And this slope, okay, this, uh, this is going to be the slope. And uh, so, then that's going to be your maximum slope and here you can figure out what's going to be maximum deflection um, that's for this problem to quickly using the table to solve uh, a beam deflection all right in the next example i will do one more beam deflection and it's based upon what we have just done for this one and uh, i'll see you in the next video all right bye now Uh, hello, uh, I just realized there's a, a mistake I made for the previous one for beam deflection and example one and the mistake happens here and this is 24 square. All right. So knowing that, so I'm going to actually put into calculator 200 times 24 square uh, times 16 times, I'm sorry, divided by, divided by 16, divided by 30. Then divide by 0 0.05. Okay, yeah, so the answer here is 4.8 times 10 to negative 3. Okay, so that would be a little quick correction for this video. All right, bye.